hey what's up and hello it's been a really long time um <laughs> since i've done a youtube video i go through phases and i've been in a kick right now where i'm watching all these people do youtube and now i want to get back into it so hopefully this time it sticks hopefully i stick to it this time so um welcome back i guess my name is kennedy um i love to thrift and i am a reseller on depop so um let's just get right into this video today i need to go to the post office and um i also need to get new inventory so this is going to be a little trip to the thrift and we might even do a little haul at the end uh so let's just go <laughs> too excited <laughs> when I first got in I put my headphones in it's really hard to do this I'm a thrifter with my earphones it gets me in the zone so recording and doing this is hard but anyway um here's some of the things I found this because they're a little dirty but I can clean those up I can't decide if these are horrendous or like ugly cute but I want them um I think I have one more pair of shoes yeah I also got these Tommy Mules. These are like vintage 90s, super cute. Um, the bags were popping off. Got this baby. And then this one. This. The last bag I got was this one so far. I also found two necklaces. Um, this one's like really basic, but I feel like it would be good for layering. I'm like hardly in the camera. And then this is the other one I found. It'd be like a cute little choker. I don't know who had these, but I do know they were an icon who ever donated these. <laughs> okay, so my cart is pretty full. So um, one thing I like to do before I start like going through everything, I like to go back to the front and just kind of see what colors are on sale. Usually there's like a 50% off color and a 30% off color. I like to look through that to help me make some of my decisions um, as I try to cut down on what I have. So let's go do that. Okay, 
Okay, so quick update in the book section here. Um, I'm not getting any books. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but um, I just went through everything I had. I think I eliminated like 15 things, which is really good for me. Um, only like four things maybe <laughs> had either a green or gray tag that you discounted colors for the day. So I did not do a good job in that department, but it is what it is. Um, we're gonna just go get checked out and then get some coffee or something. I'm struggling. <laughs> That was a really good trip today. I'm very happy with that. I made like three TikToks while I was in there too. So my phone is like going through it between trying to film this and those TikToks and me listening to music in between. It's doing the most. Um, but I'm very happy with that trip. Uh, I think I'm gonna get something to drink and then in the next clip, we'll probably start the haul. And I'm very excited for you guys to see everything. All right, welcome back. It is the next day. I was just too tired <laughs> after my trip yesterday to go through this haul. So we're gonna do it right now. Um, I'm actually not gonna go through any of the shoes or accessories that I went through earlier just because I did give a pretty good in-depth video of those up close in the store. Everything I did show um, in the store, I did end up getting. So if you don't remember what those look like, just for one. Um, anyway, let's get right into it. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna show is this, uh, leather main skirt. I actually have this exact same one I found a couple years ago um, for myself and I absolutely adore it. So now someone else can adore it too. Um, I did find a couple summer dresses. The first one is this tie-dye moment. I just thought she was kind of cute, boho, just fun, you know, to the park or something like that, a picnic. Um, I also found this super retros. I'm not very good with the years. Um, so it might be kind of 50s, 60s-esque. I'm not really sure, but just like imagine like how cute that would be, you know? With some like um, platform Mary Janes or something. Oh God, Ooh. too much hair. That, that's a vibe, I know it is. Um, I did get a bunch of swimsuits. I got so many swimsuits yesterday. Um, oh. I almost had a stroke in there in the thrift store because I was just amazed. I was so caught far. Anyway, uh, here we go. This is the first one. It's just a little triangle moment. I don't know why I keep putting this in my body. I have a huge graphic on my shirt. You can't really see it. Um, but I do have this one. And I got two one pieces. This is the first one. Love this. It's super stretchy, red. It's got a really nice low scoop uh, back. So I got that one, and then I got this one. It's the same brand, same style and everything, just a different print. Cute. Okay, moving on. I found a lot of good plus size skirts today, so I'm very excited, well yesterday. So I'm very excited about that so I can keep adding inclusivity on my shop. So this is the first one. It's this black, super stretchy, like athletic little mini skirt. And then on that same train, I did find this one as well. If this had a top, like a little zip up, you'd be unstoppable. Then I also found this one. This is by LEI. Is it Lay or Lee? I don't know. LEI. <laughs> um, it's just like a little athletic skirt. There's shorts underneath. I don't even know if you can see that, but I usually like the drawstring detail on the side. What else? This was my pride and joy. Okay, this was my pride and joy. Dang it, I dropped something. Anyway, um, was this little two-piece dead stock swimming? Look how cute. So this is the bottoms. They're they're kind of cheeky, but like high waisted, high leg cut. Um, and then this is the top that has little bows on the side. So absolutely had to get that. And then I did find this Calvin Klein swim skirt. It's just brown, which brown is everything. Um, it has a little slit on the side as well. It doesn't have any bikini like bottoms in it, so you can just easily layer this on top of your other swimming that you have. I also did find this swimsuit as well. Just a very tropical print, a little basic. 
Bad luck, her. And then, oh, I just dropped everything on the floor. Great. This little dead stock, I need to stop saying little. This dead stock, um, it's like knee length, I think. I'm 5'2. So it's knee length on me. But um, it's a dead stock skirt. I really got it because I love this o ring belt that comes with it. And there's really pretty, I don't even know if you can see this on camera, um, floral detailing right there. It can come off, but it did come with the skirt. And like, look at that fading. She's cute. Okay. On skirts, we can take We'll continue with skirts. Okay. I also got this one. This is also for my plus size babes. Um, this leather skirt. I really did like this grommet detailing and like roping at the bottom. So that's really the reason I got it. But. Okay. Back to swimsuits. I did also find this one. I think I might have to keep this one. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I might have to keep this one. Um, it's just colored blocking. Very basic, but this. Normally it's like an O-ring or a D-ring, but this is a rectangle, and I love that. Halters are so hard to show on camera, but just imagine it, okay? It's just a little <laughs> halter with the O-ring. I was just talking about how you're used to seeing O-rings and not rectangle rings. Um, this is that O-ring I was talking about, but I just really like the colors. It reminds me of like sunset on the beach. Um, you could probably wear this it is a swimsuit top, but you can probably wear this as a normal top as well. Especially in the summer because it's so hot and sweaty. This is probably a nice material to kind of wear in that kind of weather. Then I found this one. It just reminded me of little bubbles or like candy or something. Um, so I got this one too. And I got this one. It says baby doll on the front. Let me get closer. Hopefully that's not too close. You can see that. Anyway, baby doll, baby tea. Yeah. And then, what else? I really hope this fits me because I would love to keep it. Um, I've been looking for one just like this. It is a size large, which is a little bigger than what I normally wear. I normally wear a medium, but maybe I can like shrink her or something in the, in the dryer. Yeah. That's a great piece of fun if you can find one. Let's talk about it. Okay, so this is the first little mini skirt I got, and it's honestly kind of a micro mini. Okay, this is barely my mid thigh. Just imagine that, like, on my butt. That's barely covering anything. Barely covering anything. Same with this one. <laughs> Hold this. Hold it. Who are you talking to right now? Same with this one. Super cute. It's a white cargo skirt. But both of these, this one and this one, are both Aeropostale. Our parents allowed us to shop at Aeropostale. Like, we were running around in this when we were younger. Now that I'm older, I'm like, this is tiny. We had no business being in this. Oh my god. But it's back, so, I mean, they're cute, don't get me wrong, but oh my gosh. Ooh, I really, really, really like this one. This print is everything. It's a statement piece, but it's very muted, if that makes sense. So. You can kind of match it with anything and it would stand out, but it wouldn't be like in your face like neon or anything crazy. So I really like this one and it should be really easy to match with a bunch of different things. I did show this in the video, but it's just like bustier corset top. I know a lot of people are wearing these with jeans and stuff. So pick this up. I did get oops, this skirt. I contemplated this one a lot. And I think I did because it separates, but it's not like a full slit. And I wanted it to kind of be a slit on the front. So it'd be super cute, but it kind of, kind of reminds me of like a sarong. Um, but it's like a really soft material, very stretchy material. Um, it's falls into that like whimsy goth kind of look, which I really like. It's almost Western as well with the French. I also got this. They had a lot of these in the store, so I don't know what was going on, but it is a little too top. And I just really liked how the little retro print, like imagine this with, where is it? Okay, like imagine this with this. It looks crazy in the mirror, but just imagine like how cute this tube top would be kind of layered over this like black mini. You can even do it with that, um, 
white cardio scratchers that can go. And then this was my pride and joy. You're not even gonna believe what brand this is. Okay, I don't know if you guys, but it is Brew 21 made in USA. Um, Brew 21 has been around for a while, so it can be vintage. I'm gonna throw that out there right now. And their older stuff, just like Charlotte Bruce and Forever 21, their older stuff is way better quality and <laughs> way cuter. So this is one of those vintage pieces. And just like, look how cute. It's a little halter dog. I might have to keep this for myself, but. Okay. And the last two things are for me and me only. This first one, I have no business buying these. Okay, these are literally the size of me, but I just know they're gonna be so comfy. I, the colorway, this stripe down the side, South Pole, are you kidding? Icon. Then I did get these. I am a sucker. Like, I don't even know how people, um, like, go out and buy sweatpants and, like, sweatshirts and stuff brand new because I don't know. I just have so many and I thrift them all the time. It's, that's the worst part of this like addiction that I have. Um, it's just buying more like sleep shirts or sweatpants, yoga pants. They're just always so comfortable. I don't know if it's already because they're worn in or what, but I did, I did get another pair of those. I never walk out without a pair of sweatpants or something. And then the last thing I got, let me get closer. I hope this is not too close. This is Arizona. I went to Arizona one time, one time. I'm gonna post pictures of, of um, my Arizona trip. I literally went one time and I was like, I absolutely need to buy myself a cactus. Have I done it yet? No, but it is still on my list of things to do. Arizona was so much fun. I absolutely loved it. It was so pretty. It was hot, but it was like a dry hot. So I wasn't like sweating, which was nice. Um, um, I think that's it for today and now I need to go wash everything and then get it photographed and listed. <sighs> Hopefully by the time this goes up, I will have some of the things up already on my Depop. If not, they will be going up soon. Which can I see? I'm gonna do my best. Um, but that's all for today. I'm gonna leave my socials in the description if you wanna go shop for any of these pieces. I am gonna keep a couple. I haven't decided which ones, but the other ones will be up. Um, I do have a bunch of other stuff already up if you are interested in just looking at anything. <sighs> what else? Oh, comment down below what your favorite piece was and your most hated piece was. And let me know. Because sometimes I don't know if I just think things are ugly so they're cute or what. It's something to do with being in the thrift store that I, everything looks cute to me. And like this, this is a vibe. It could work. Um, so comment down below, leave those. I'm also gonna leave my favorite and my least favorite in the comments as well. So let's talk about it. Um, if you wanna subscribe, subscribe. Hopefully, like I said, I'm gonna be more consistent this time around. I feel a lot more comfortable talking to the camera. I think TikTok did that for me. I don't really talk on TikTok, but I feel like just being exposed to video content is maybe more comfortable on camera. So we're gonna try this out and you guys hold me to it. Hopefully each Sunday I can get something up, whether it's a thrift haul or a trip to the thrift plus a haul. Maybe I'll do some try-ons and styling videos. I don't know. The world is our oyster. You know what I mean? So I will see you guys in the next one.